Hi guys, let's sit down and learn about bugs. Here we go. Bugs A through Z. A is for ant. A single ant can carry 50 times its own body weight and they'll even work together to move bigger objects as a group. B is for bumblebee. A bumblebee produces a teaspoon of honey about 5 grams in her lifetime. C is for caterpillar. Caterpillars are nicknamed eating machines since all they do is eat and eat and eat. Hey, just like the very hungry caterpillar. D is for dragonflies. Some adult dragonflies live for only a few weeks while others live up to a year. E is for earthworms. The earthworms are basically ground-dwelling animals and they are mostly found underground. F is for firefly. A firefly's glow is a chemical reaction which makes them bioluminescent. Whoa, that's a big word. That just means that the fire dragon's body makes a chemical reaction that helps them light up when we see them at night. Bioluminescent. G is for grasshopper. A grasshopper has two antennae, six legs, two pairs of wings, and a small little pincher to tear off food, such as grasses, leaves, and cereal crops. H is for honeybee. A honeybee visits 550 to 100 flowers during a collection trip. Pollinating, like Miss Amy talked about, 50 to 100 flowers. That's a lot of flowers. I is for inchworm. The life of an inchworm. Inchworms start out in life as eggs, spending the winter attached to the underside of leaves. And then they hatch in the spring. J is for June bug. The common June bug is one half to five eighths inches long and has a red brown color. Very tiny bug. K is for catadid. Catadids live in bushes and the canopy of trees, especially oak trees, where they eat the leaves. Sometimes they eat other dead insects and aphids. L is for ladybug. Ladybugs are very helpful to a garden as they eat aphids and mites which are bugs that are harmful to plants. M is for mosquito. Most species of mosquitoes are considered to be annoying because they drink, they poke humans and animals. N is for net wing beetle. A net wing beetle is one of the oldest animals. They have been here for over 300,000 years. Whoa, that's a long time. O is for owlfly. I've never seen this one, guys. An owlfly is usually mistaken for a dragonfly because they both fold their wings over their bodies. Hmm. I wonder if I've ever seen one and mistaken it for a dragonfly. P is for praying mantis. The most eye-catching feature of the praying mantis are its front legs that make the insect look like it's praying. The insect uses its grasping front legs to capture and hold its food. Q is for question mark butterfly. Question mark butterfly has a white mark on its wing that looks like a question mark. Hmm. R is for rhinoceros beetles. Rhino rhinoceros beetles are a popular pet in Asia among kids. They are safe to handle, very clean, and make little mess. They are very easy to keep. Can you imagine having one of these as a pet? How cool. S is for snail. A snail is a common name for a grass gastropod mollusk that can be split into three groups, land snails, sea snails, and freshwater snails. T is for tarnished plant bug. T 
The tarnished plant bug likes to eat vegetables and fruit. U is for Unca skipper. The Unca skippers are very fast and strong flyers. They fly so fast that often that are often seen as a blur for humans. V is for velvet ant. Velvet ants range in size from one eighth inch to an inch with great variation within species. That means they can be really tiny to kind of big. W is for wasps. Wasps make nests from paper. They chew up strips of bark and spit it out again to form a rough paper. Some wasps, some wasps nests in basements, sheds, or dark, cool places. We had one in at school one time. The big kids found it, and it looked and felt like paper. X is for Xerxes blue butterfly. The Xerxes blue butterfly is now an extinct butterfly. We talked about that word when we learned about dinosaurs. Extinct. Do you remember what it means? Extinct means they no longer exist. Good job. Y is for yellow plant bug. Beetles come in a lot of colors. Beetles can be bright yellow, green, red, orange, or even purple. Z is for the zebra butterfly. The zebra long wing butterfly lives throughout Central America, Florida, and parts of Texas. Why do you think it's called the zebra butterfly? That's right, because it has black and white stripes. Good job. The end.